Good evening. Hello. Hola. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. No se le escucha. Hola, teacher. No se le escucha nada, teacher. Hello. ¿Me escuchan? Hola, ¿hoy sí me escuchan? Lejitos, bien lejitos. Eh, ¿Ya me escuchan mejor? Ahora sí. Ah, hay que mostrar con, no sé qué pasó aquí, quizás alguna actualización. Porque. Eh, me pedía el, 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 el audio de la, de la computadora. Ok, pero ya estamos bien. Ok, so here we go. And welcome everyone. I am so happy that you are here with me. And let's get started, okay? So, um, let's see here. Gallery, yes, great, that's okay. You know, Zoom updates every single moment, right? Okay, okay. So, welcome, Veronica, William, Francisco. Hello, Clelia, Blanqui. Hello, how are you today? Hello, hello. teacher. Hello, okay, great to listen to you. That our audio is okay, excellent. No way, hello, welcome, Danny. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for being here, class. Okay, so let's get started and we're going to start. I'm going to share my PPT with you guys, okay? As every single day. And here we go. Okay, today is October 18th, 2022, correct? Is that correct? The date, is it today's date? En la fecha de hoy, chicos. Yes, and Filomena. Yes, yes, I do. No. Good evening, Tita. Good evening, welcome. Okay. So here we go, class. Uh, let's see, as I was telling you, today is October 18th, 2022, correct? And here we go. Uh, so today is our video conference, 12th, I said 12th or 12th, right? Yeah. No, it is 11th, right? I was thinking about tomorrow, but it is 11 because yesterday we finished section number two. Now we're going to start with the third unit, section number three. So as every day we have greetings, number one, feedback, objectives, the pre-task is to brainstorm activities, preparation tasks to describe future events using present continuous. So today we're going to start working with a new structure and the task will be to tell future plans and we're going to be working at pages 29 and 30. I expect that, okay? So here, as every day, I need to ask one of you to help me reading this objective, the specific objective and the class objective, okay? Who's going to be that volunteer? Okay, only one volunteer because Carlos is having dinner at the moment, so we need another volunteer. Hello, let me see, I'm going to choose the volunteer. What about Blanqui? Blanca Luz, would you like to read the specific objective and the class objective, please? Luz, hello. 
Okay, good chair. How are you? <laughs> okay, answer to me. Uh, at least do something because when you don't answer to me, I believe that you don't listen to me or maybe that I lost the connectivity, okay? So please try. Okay, here we go. Please, uh, Blanky. A specific object. Participants will be able to describe future world events. Clubs objective. Participants will be able to use present continue for future events. Excellent, very well, great. So listen class, you as participants will be able to describe future work events and you will be able also to use the present continuous for future events. So it is a different structure because we have been working with the simple present tense, but present continues for future events. So don't get confused with the ING form because this is similar, but not the same, okay? So again, homeworks and evaluations yesterday. Uh, Noé, do you listen to me? Hello, Noé. Noa, Noé me escucha. Hola, Noé. Sí, le escucho. Ok, thank you. Noé, necesito que me actualice sus, sus, sus trabajos y evaluación en la plataforma, ok? Tan pronto como le sea posible para poder actualizarle el cuadro de nota, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, okay teacher. Ok, thank you so much. And here we go. Remember the requirements for everyday classes, everyday meeting that we are having here, ok? Your name, full name and a camera on, sound off, microphone off, and active participation, 100% as every day you have it, okay? And here, the attendance, again, you have 100% is the idea. If you have it, excellent. It tells a lot of you, your responsibility also. Two hour classes, 120 minutes, unless you have problems with the connectivity, okay? The attendance, I'll, I'll take it two times and you have to activate your camera when uh, you say your name. And the one-on-one -on -one -on -one class that we have uh, at the end of the class with one of you, okay? So set that here, camera's on. And I don't have to repeat this because you know that you are able to, um, Use the ask for help button when you are in the breakout rooms, right? And the chats that are available for you. And here we are, okay, in section three. So we're going to be finishing this level, your second module on November the 1st. And here we have a feedback. Yesterday, if you remember class, we were working with this conversation, right? We began and you were practicing in the breakout rooms this short conversation. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday the 26th. And okay, you're going to work with this conversation. You have it in your WhatsApp okay, group. And what are you going to do? Oh, it's going to be a little bit... Um, Lucy Amaya. Okay. Okay. No, no entiendo. Alguien pidió la, la, el código de la reunión. Ahora. Porque aquí aparece. Okay, so here I'm going to share it if you were absent yesterday or if you didn't. It. Okay. Yes, again. There you are. 
So what are you going to do with this short conversation? You are going to replace these names by your names. And you're going to say, for example, this is for example, Adele, or let's see, Luz, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the supervisor? When is the meeting with the manager? When is the meeting with the clients, with the potential clients, yes? When is the meeting with the boss? When is the meeting with the CEO? And then you're going to say on Tuesday, October, blah, blah, or on Friday, November, blah, blah. Okay, you're going to replace the date also. What about the conference with the, you may say Japanese representatives, Guatemalan representatives, American representatives, Canadian representatives, or uh, British representatives, French representatives, and then you replace also the date. It's on Friday, it's on Saturday, it's on Monday, on Tuesday, and then you say the, and you mention the date. Is it okay? Is it clear? You are going to replace the information, okay? And then you switch roles. You are going to make it personal for you. Is that okay? La van a modificar y la van a hacer personal. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Are the instructions clear? Hello. Hi, Marlene. Welcome. Jose Mario, hello. Welcome, everyone. Are the instructions clear, class? ¿Están las instrucciones claras, chicos y chicas? Hey yes, guys. Yes, yes, okay, excellent. Oh. So right now you're going to have, thank you, Jose Mario. Thank you, Juan Ezequiel. And listen, today is the first day of our unit number three. So there are still two or three students who are owing me the midterm test. Hay dos o tres estudiantes que aún me deben el examen, ¿verdad? Y hay quienes me deben todavía, quizás por problemas de conexión, me imagino, ¿ok? De, con su internet. Eh, la, algunas tareas del homework de la semana 2. Así es que les pido de favor que me las terminen para poder yo actualizarle sus cuadros, ¿ok? So, right now, um, since everything is clear, I'm going to uh, ask you to go to the breakout rooms. And here we go. Okay. Hello, Marlene. Welcome, Alejandra Michelle. We were missing you yesterday, class Edwin. It's good to see you. I see that you feel better now. And, okay. Hello, hello. Let me see how many students in each group. Okay, you're going to make it yourself. You're going to work in that conversation that I shared. Three, 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 three students in each group. So right now I'm going to send you the invitation. Open your eyes big and join your groups and begin the speaking practice. Here we go. Okay. Join your groups, please, class. Join your groups if you are so nice. Unanse a los equipos si son tan amables. Thank you so much. Ana Marlene, go to group number one. Juan Ezequiel, group number four. Juan, go to group number four if you are so nice. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hola, hello. hola. Buenas noches. Okay, hola. here we are. Ana Veronica, Alejandra Michelle, and William Francisco. Okay. Yes. In practice. Yes. Vamos a, a tener que... Crear a conversación y después cambiarla, ¿verdad, compañeros? Yes, you make it personal. Actually, you have to make it personal because yesterday, this is a feedback. Yesterday, they were practicing a lot, okay? So, bye. Good luck. Este, hay que meterle por ahí, este...
eh, alguna que otra frase de esto. Van a sustituir. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Van a eh. sustituir a sus nombres y las uh -huh. edades principales, ¿ok? Entonces, aquí puede ser, uh, uh, por ejemplo, aquí en vez de, bueno, la reunión dice, um, no sé, vamos a poner algo ahí con respecto. Instead of uh, a meeting, you uh, uh, no, in the meeting, that's okay, but you have to replace the meeting, for example, with the manager, not with the consultant, with the CEO, okay, with the employees, with the customers. En okay. here oh, also. Okay. Ajá, eso es lo que la, una reunión, pero con quién es, es lo que van a modificar, ¿ok? Ok, okay. teacher, yo tengo mala señal igual que ayer. Oh. Ah, aprovechemos lo más que se pueda, aprovechemos lo más que se pueda, ¿ok, Nilton? Casi no. Si a, alguien, recuerden que si a alguien se le va la energía eléctrica o el internet, tan pronto como regrese reingresan nuevamente. Si algún día me llega a pasar a mí, wait for me, please, ¿ok? Si algún día sí, me llega a pasar, me espera. Perdón ¿Sí? por entrar tarde a la clase, pero es que estaba en reunión. Con... Ok, I no, you are a businessman. No problem, you are a working man. Eh, lo que estamos es en el feedback, ¿ok? Estamos en el repaso de lo que están haciendo acá en esta conversación. Van a sustituir algunos datos, los van a convertir en personal, porque ayer solamente la leyeron tal cual como está. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, bye. December uh, 27th. What about the conference with the Salvadoran representative, representative, oh, representatives? Representatives. Representatives, okay. It's um uh Tuesday the twenty five. Okay. Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Yeah, because with th twenty fifth. Okay. 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 Ahora si quiere este puede practicar con el compañero que ahorita voy en el microbús para mi casa. Okay. Ok, eh, sería yo Susan. Empieza usted, ajá. Vaya. Está rápido, porque ¿qué tal me quedaba sin eso? Ajá, ajá, but no. Uh, todavía no para darles tiempo a los que se unen un poquito por mm -hmm. problemas de trabajo o conexión, ¿verdad? Ahorita, ahorita, ya, teacher. ahorita, teacher, ya practicamos con Marley. Ahorita va a practicar Serafín con Daniel. Ok, pero recuerden que tienen que hacer las sustituciones, ¿verdad? Teacher, ¿cómo eh, se pronuncia? En lugar de consultant, you, you, consultant, you may say manager, CEO, clients, customers, the, uh, eh, the employees, for example, yes. Eh, Yo teacher, tenía eh, esa eh, frase, corporate. Corporate, ajá. Uh -huh. yeah, corporate. Right. Right. Y la fecha eh. la van a cambiar también. La fecha mi a mí caso, me parecen teacher. bien. No, las tiene que cambiar para que practiquen. <risa> ah, <risa> teacher. teacher ¿no? Tengo una consulta, teacher. Ok, Serafín. Este, cuando, se me olvidó cuando es que se utiliza, cuando es que se utiliza el, el ND después de la, de, de la ah, fecha. Ah, es en el segundo el día. Por ejemplo, 22nd, 2nd, 32nd, 42nd. Ok. Y para el 23, third, 23rd, 33rd, 43rd, 53rd, y so on, los números ordinales. Y el primero de noviembre, November the first. Words. Sí, ahora no hay... el vigésimo primer día, 21st. 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Después de el tercero. Ya se usa 4th, 5th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, hasta que llega al 20th. Bueno, ¿sí? bueno, 20th, por ejemplo, 21st, 
second, ya vamos a trabajar eso también. Ah, ok, es que esa es. Okay. Vamos bueno. a reforzarlo ¿Eh? también. Don't be concerned, no se me preocupe mucho, ok? Ok, teacher. Okay. Eh, for example, teacher, teacher, hay, hay, yes. hay a question. Este, for example, este, para cambiar consultor, yo he puesto supplier, pero no sé Entonces, si puede ser proveedor. también supplier y Ajá, es proveedor. proveedor. Ajá, okay, supplier. Ya, yeah, excellent. Yeah. It can be. Mm -hmm. That's the idea that you use your, your creativity, right? You build your language. Okay, bye. Y otro, otro bye. Eh, eh, teacher, ¿verdad que no ha pasado lista aún? No, not yet, not yet. We were waiting for some of you. Estábamos esperando okay. algunos, ok. No okay. problem. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. Jefes, jefes, bolsas. Excuse me. Eh, jefes. Voces. Voces, ¿verdad? O S S I S. Ah, okay. B O K S S I S. Voces. S. Plural. Ajá, y en singular se le quita de qué es. Y es, yes, you only say my boss. Ok. Ok, great. Continue practicing. Ok, ya lo ya la hice. Ok, ya did you practice with Filomena? Did you practice with Filomena? No. Ahorita. Ok, practice. Ahorita lo vamos. Ok, excelente. Mm -hmm. Ok, next. Bueno, Nilton. Ok, con, con Brandon. Así es, excelente. Ok, yo inicio, Brandon. Dele, excelente. Brandon, please check my agents. When is the meeting with the supervisor? Um, ¿Cómo se dice, Marta? Me con <laughs> Thursday. Thursday. Perdón, Thursday. Ando. Agenda. Okay, continue. Continue oh. with the practice. Tuesdays. 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 September. 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 Profe, que yo me confundo. No, no, sé, pero no, ahí no, pueden, no, pueden poner, no pueden poner 39 porque septiembre no tiene 39 días. Ah, no. Maybe 29. Sería. 29 o 19. 19. 19, el 19, tomorrow. Ah, because it's November. Ok, continue class with the practice. Teacher. Yes, Nilton. How do you say seri, cómo, seri, cómo se dice eh, así como eh, los miembros de un sindicato? Mm, the, the Labor's Association or the Employees Association. Employees Association sería entonces uh -huh. correcto. Yes, yes, that's correct. Ok, what's about the conference with the Employees Association? As Hello. Did you finish the practice? Sure. And did you switch roles? Intercambiaron roles. Okay. Mm, let's see. Blanqui perdió la conexión. Vamos a ver con quién estaba Blanqui. Uh, no estaba con ustedes Blanqui, ¿verdad? No, uh -huh. solamente William se les... La luz, ok. okay. Sí, porque, eh, bueno, pero es que quizás hay problemas de conexión. Varios están teniendo problemas porque ya le di acceso y no logra unirse. Ok, I would like to listen to William and Ana Verónica. Your conversation, please. Uh -huh. Entonces... No Sería Verónica, please check my agenda. 
when is the meeting with the supervisor? On Tuesday, October 22nd. What about the conference with the clients? It's on Saturday, the 22nd. Okay, excellent. Very well done. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Mire, yo ahí me he confundido. Vaya. Tratándose de meses, ¿cuándo yo voy a usar la terminación ND para números? Los lo que ayer hablamos. Permítame, de... eso no es para meses, es para fechas. Uh -huh, por eso. Los números ordinales, recuerden que first, second, third, fourth, fifth. ¿Verdad? Así son los números ordinales. First, second, third. Después del tercero, third, you start with four, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twentieth. Cuando llegamos al vigésimo primero, twenty first. 22nd, 23rd. Cuando llegamos al vigésimo cuarto, 24th, 25th, 27th, hasta que llegamos al trigésimo. Series, luego 31st, 32nd, 33rd. Solo son esos primeros tres, ¿de acuerdo? Okay. ok, ya lo vamos, ya vamos a repasar eso. Cuando Ajá, sí. Ok, sí, porque de ordinal numbers. Esa okay. es la intención de que ustedes lo personalicen, porque así caen en la cuenta, ¿verdad? Porque el solo uh -huh. leemos así lo leemos y ya está dado, pero cuando ustedes uh -huh. lo crean como debe ser, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Ok, ok. That is part of the general feedback. Okay, okay, so I'm going to close and let's get back. Ok. Thank you. Let's wait for the partners. Okay, get ready for the attendance. I'm going to call your names, okay? And you know that it is your attendance. So I think everybody's back. Yeah, okay. So here, Ana Marlene. Present teacher. Thank you, miss. Uh, Ana Verónica. Thank you. Uh, Brandon. Brandon. Thank you. Carlos Miguel. Present teacher. Great. Carmen Guadalupe. Not yet. Okay. Clelia. Present. Ah, uh, now you feel better? Ya se siente mejorcita? De salud, mm -hmm. Lelia. Yeah, a little bit better. Okay, great. Good for you. Danny? Present. Thank you. David Emanuel? David? Present. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edwin? Hello, Edwin. You were here? Hi, you're here. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ivania? Mm, Ivania is absent. Janice Caroline, Janice Caroline is not present at the moment. Jonathan, hmm, absent right now. Jose Dimas, 
absento. José Manuel Mejía, he's absent. José Mario, absent. No, oh, present. Ah, oh, yes, it was a joke. I knew it was. Teacher, I'm here. Um, Juan Ezequiel, always here. Very responsible. Okay. Marlin, hello, Marlin. Present, present teacher. Thank you. Nilton. Present. Great. Serafín. <gasps> Serafín. Where I am. Okay, time. William, William Francisco, always here. He never misses a class. Hello, William. Present. Thank you. Luz Filomena. Present. Thank you, Thank you Blanky Luz. Blanky, are you back, Blanky? Blanca. She lost the connectivity and she was here, right? But Carmen is here. Okay, let me see. I'm going to double check yours, Carmen. Here, Carmen is here. Alejandra Michel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Beatriz absent. Noé, are you here, Noé? Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, class. Listen, you have been uh, practicing, correct? the conversation, but some of you ask me about the ordinal numbers. We use the ordinal numbers to express the date. For example, if I ask you, what's today's date? ¿Cuál es la fecha de hoy? Entonces, ¿qué me dirían ustedes? Ah, Dimas is already here. Hello, Dimas, just in time. Good oh, evening. Okay. okay, hold it. Mm, I'm going to look for your name, Jose Dimas. You came just in time. Okay. So here, listen. Again, the question, people, for you. What's today's date? What's today's date? Who knows? Ivania is joining. I know. I think they have telepathy. Tienen telepatía, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh, Janice is here. I'm so happy that all of you are here, guys. Okay, let me see. Jenny is got here and Ivania also. Let me see, Ivania. Okay, here. In la fecha de ahora, pues, what's today's date? Okay. Ah, uh, and the day, because what's today's date is the full, the full date, okay? So here, if I ask you guys, what's today's date? And then you say today is Tuesday. Mm -hmm. October. October. 18th. 20, 22. Yes. Okay. Para la fecha, utilizamos, miren, los números ordinales. Primero, segundo, tercero, cuarto, quinto, sexto, séptimo, bla, bla, bla. Until the city or city first. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, let's remind these ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers. And then we have first, second, Third, esto es lo que más les en problema a ustedes, ¿verdad? Third, estos first, second, third son los tres irregulares, porque luego continúan y a los demás ustedes para la fecha, you only add th, for example, here, fourth. Yes, sí, y así sucesivamente. Pero, ¿qué sucede cuando llegamos al vigésimo? 20s, and then we write 20s. ¿Por qué escribimos 20s? Porque miren el número, que si estos son los números ordinales, el número cardinal tendría que ser 20. Termina en Y, ¿sí o no? Pay attention to this. 
terminan en Y. Entonces, ¿qué sucede? You replace the letter Y and you write I. E and you add TH. Okay? Eliminamos la Y, la cambiamos por I latina más una letra E y TH. ¿Sí? ¿Qué sucede con el vigésimo segundo? 20 second. This is easier. Why? Because you write 20 second. Okay. ¿Y qué sucede con el vigésimo primero? 21st. And then you write 20 first. En algunos eh, libros, en alguna bibliografía, lo van a encontrar con el hyphen. Está correcto, sería lo ideal. Pero en alguna otra bibliografía lo encontrarán sin eh, el hyphen y está también correcto, pero gramaticalmente debe llevar hyphen acá, ¿verdad? El, el guión. And then 23rd. Here, 23rd. And then you write 23rd. ¿Ya? Yeah. Is that okay? Y si fuera el vigésimo séptimo, el vigésimo séptimo día. Twenty sevens, yeah. And then you write twenty sevens, twenty eights, twenty nines. Recordemos eso. Y qué sucede cuando llegamos al trigésimo día? series y se repite la situación como en el 20 es ya series and then you write 30 es por qué por la misma razón es que lo escribimos así porque el número cardinal sería 30 sí so you replace the y and you add i e and the th ya Y después del día trigésimo, ¿cuál es el día que sigue? En algunos meses. Thirty. Thirty first. Excellent. Thirty first. Then you write thirty first. Y así. Thirty second en los números ordinales normales, ¿verdad? Sí. Hasta que llegamos al forty. Forty es. 41st, 42nd, 43rd, y así continuamos hasta que llegamos a 100, 100s, 101st, 102nd, 103rd, 104th, and then you continue, okay? But the basic is this one. Is it clear, class? Porque ya lo vamos a utilizar en la clase. ¿Sí? Hola. Yes, teacher. Ok. Great. Excellent. May I raise this? Shall we continue? Yes, teacher. Ok, great. O alguien le va a tomar screenshot y lo va a compartir. Ready. Okay, ready. Now let's continue with the other activity. Okay, here, yeah, I was checking something. So now class, that you have that knowledge and I was expecting that question because now you're going to put it into practice. And, okay, it is the second part and it is also in your manual. But here, look at this. Look at both at both tables or at the both tables. Okay, here the calendar 2017, 20, 20, but we're going to focus on 2022 or 2023. Okay, or in the 2023, if you want to project. Listen to your teacher and point at the numbers in months he or she calls out. But here, months of the year first. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah. 
January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to point, let me see. I'm, I'm going to share it from the, from the manual because I'm going to point in there to the numbers, okay, in the calendar. So here. Okay, class. And you tell me if it is uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, and you tell me, okay? So here. What's, what's today's date according to this calendar? It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, okay. Eh, Wednesday, acá lo he marcado, miren. Ten, tens. Ten, Wednesday, ten, thanks or Wednesday, ten. the thanks, okay? Very ten. well. Okay, pay close attention because I'm going to ask you again. Uh, class, what's today's date? Here. It's uh, Sunday. Saturday, Saturday, Sa Saturday, 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 28th, 20th, very well, Thank now you. look at this, the other one, okay, here, what's today's date, uh, 21st, 21st, oh, okay. but the day, 21st, ah, yes. uh, it's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday 21st. 21st. Excellent. What about this one? What's today's date? Uh, is uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. Uh, 31st. 31st. Excellent. Very well. And what about if I point at this? What's today's date? It's Monday. Monday, Monday 1st. Monday 1st. First, excellent. And here, if I say, for example, okay, this one, what's today's date? It's Thursday. Thursday. The fourth. Thursday's fourth. Okay, the fourth. Oh. Excellent. Very well done. Now, what are you going to do, class? Write the name of one of the months in the calendar. Here, acá vamos a escribir cualquier mes del año. Uh, as an example, okay, I'm going to write here, for example, okay, August. December. <laughs> no, eh, ahí también, este es un ejemplo. Ajá, este es un ejemplo nada más, okay? And then write the name of the months. And let's imagine that this is... Uh, 2022, okay. El año es 2022. Estamos en agosto del 2022. Think of three events and write the dates for them. Yo voy a pensar about three events that, ha, that take place that we have in August 2022. So I'm going to write here from the 1st, August the 1st to August the 6th, okay? I'm going to write over here. August, okay, in my case, August the 1st uh, to August the 6th, right? Um, San Salvador, um, San Salvador's festivities, local festivities, yes, local festivities. That is one event, yes or no? And uh, let's see, August, ah, I'm going to write. August 13th, my birthday. <laughs> That's why I chose uh, August 
because it is my birthday, for real, okay? On August 13th, ya llevo dos eventos que suceden para mí son importantes. Yes, and the other one, let me see. Uh, I will write over here. August 6th. ¿Qué pasa con el 6 de agosto? Es uh, San Salvador Day. Ah, pero es que como ya están las festivities arriba, en las local festivities. Oh, okay. For example, if I write August 24th, okay, my father's birthday. In my case, in my personal case, okay, those are my three events in this month. August 22. Entonces yo marco esas fechas acá, ¿sí? Cuando ya hayan hecho cada uno su proceso, usted selecciona su mes, puede ser 2022 o puede ser next year, right? Y va a, así como hizo la teacher acá, ¿ok? Así como hicimos acá. Entonces vamos a, um, a compartirlo con los compañeros, ¿de acuerdo? Is it clear? For example, you have an English class on Tuesday, August 9th, they have here, yeah? But I have August, from August 1st to the 6th, San Salvador's local festivities, yeah? Is that okay? Yes? Okay, now you think, okay? This is personal. Esto es personal que cada quien tiene que seleccionar un mes y los eventos que suceden en ese mes, okay? And now we're going to be transferred to the breakout rooms. Y ahora iremos hacia los breakout rooms. Is that okay? But I'm going to recreate because some people were out and because of the connectivity. And now we have, thank God, more students. So probably some of you are going to be removed to another group. Mm. Mm. Let me see. What if I create another one because too many people? Okay, hold it. Because I cannot have two people because imagine in case that one of you lose the connectivity. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Hold it, hold it. Think uh, while I fix this situation, please. You think about una consulta, teacher. Yes, sir. Que, que iría, sería año. Eh, día, eh, bueno, este, fecha sí, y día. Fecha. Uh -huh. Sería, perdón, este mes, fecha y día, sí, en ese sí. orden, la oración. Sí, correcto. Ok. Porque gracias. vamos a practicar las fechas. Permítame okay. que estoy viendo que. Ay, voy a tener que dejar dos grupos de cuatro entonces. ¿Por qué? Porque si pierde a alguien la conexión. El madre. Okay. okay, there you are. I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Here we go. I sent you the invitation class. Join your groups, please. Join your groups. Noe, I need you to join group number five. Noah, I need you in group number five. Edwin, I need you in group number one, please. Clelia, in group number two, please, Miss Clelia. Clelia. Boy, boy. Okay, thank you, Miss. Thank you. Group number two, Clelia. Thank you.
Ok, ¿qué me vamos a, a elegir o cada quien era? No, 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 no. You choose one month, Edwin chooses another month, Verónica chooses another month, and Filomena mm. another month, ¿ok? Cada okay. quien selecciona un mes diferente porque van a mencionar actividades diferentes. Es más, creo que no todos viven en el mismo municipio o en el mismo departamento, I don't know. So you have different festivities, different events, yeah, maybe. Okay? Or maybe at okay. work you have uh, a special activity. Okay. Verónica, okay. you hear? Okay, great. So let's begin working on that and later you share your information with your partners, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. Do you have any question or everything is clear? Todo está claro, chicos, chicas? Um, sí, yes, Marley. Creo yo. <ríe> Marley. Voy a compartir la pantalla para que no sé. Ok. Tal vez me he equivocado en algo. Estos son mis. Eh, y el mes, November 25th. Uh -huh. November 25th, graduation. Ok. Yes. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. Teacher. ¿Qué quiere decir fin de año? Uh, uh, New Year's. New Year's festivities. Yeah, December 31st. Ah, uh -huh. uh, yeah. New Year's. New Year's Eve. Ah, okay. Se lo, se lo comparto en el chat o... Porque como está compartiendo pantalla no le puedo escribir ahí. Entonces lo voy a escribir en, en el chat de acá de la clase. Ah, porque podría ser así. Ok. Ok. In December class, remember that we celebrate um, Christmas, Christmas Eve on December 24th. ¿Verdad? Porque nosotros en Latinoamérica celebramos New, eh, Christmas Eve, la víspera de Navidad, porque es el 24 de diciembre. Uh -huh. Pero en Europe, Canada and USA, they celebrate Christmas Day. Christmas Day. It's on December 25th. Yes? Mm -hmm. And then we have the same New Year's Eve. We celebrate that on December 31st. El 31 de diciembre celebramos los latinos la víspera de Año Nuevo. And the rest of the world, they celebrate New Year's Day. New Year's Day. New Year's Day, el día de año. This is on January 1st. Ellos celebran el 1 de enero. Okay, uh -huh. Gracias. De hecho, es el, el 31 de diciembre, pero a medianoche comienzan ellos la celebración para darle la víspera, ¿verdad? A... Uh -huh. Ajá, y se quedan ya de vacación y celebran el día uh, January the 1st. Pero mm. a medianoche es que comienzan ellos con la celebración porque at midnight, ok, ya, yeah, we are on January the 1st, ya. Yeah? Okay. ok. Teacher. Yes, miss. Para las vacaciones anuales, annual vacation o annual uh, holiday. No, annual, uh, you may say annual vacations because remember holidays are public holidays. Mm -hmm. Son los okay. días de fiesta para mm -hmm. todo el mundo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Por ejemplo, estos son holidays. Estos son días de fiesta, son días festivos, pero para muchas personas. But your annual vacations, usted tiene vacaciones anuales, ¿sí? Pero ahí sería primero, el, primero la fecha. Vacations. I have the... 
the public holidays and the and two weeks, actually three weeks of of vacations because it is on Eastern, August and December in my case plus the public holidays. Más los días eh, festivos, por ejemplo, September 15th, yeah? uh, Mother's Day, yeah? pero hay quienes no. They only have the annual vacations. Tienen 15 o 20 días en algunos casos, pero a algunos les toca trabajar los public holidays. Yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm going to erase this and continue. Practicing and later we move to the uh, main session room, okay? Remember to read your information to the other partners. Bye. 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 Teacher, ¿cómo se dice 12? 12. 12. Solo 12. Uh, 12. Uh, 12. Uh -huh. You only have the, the age. Ok. 12. 12. Uh, tal como se escribe en, en natural, pero con TH. Ajá, uh -huh, TH. Yeah. Okay. December 12 is my birthday. birthday. Your day. Your Be birthday. Your day. Okay. Uh -huh. Congrats. It's your special okay. holiday. Septiembre día de la independencia. Ay, no. Oh, September capital letter. Independence capital letter. Mayúscula, los días de fiesta. Ay, Jonathan goes to group number. Ya no lo puedo corregir, teacher. ¿Por qué no? No Solo me deja. Que acá. No. Ah, es que hizo tres cuadros diferentes. Ajá. Ay, pero recuerden, uy, esto acá, mm -mm, absolutely incorrect. Todos los meses del año, todos los meses, los días de la semana van con mayúscula. Otherwise it is incorrect. ¿Y el hijo de quién es el, el cumpleaños del hijo de quién? De Yenis. Ah, Jenny's son's birthday. Jenny's son's birthday. Porque podría ser de José o de William, de José Mario, ¿ya? <risa> y ahí cada bueno. quien cuando lea en el main session room va a decir, por ejemplo, uh, September the 8th, my son's birthday. Yes. September 9th. Y todo, el, todo esto es de... Recuerden que cada quien tiene que hacer su mes. No es un mes para todos. Mm -mm. Es un mes por cada estudiante. Ok. So okay. you should different dates. Okay, bye, bye. Bye. Hello, Jonathan. Thank you for joining. Hola. Uh, are you okay, Juan? With your exercise? Uh, three fetches, three fetches. Three fetches. Would you like to read them for me so I can help you? The May 1st Labor Day. May the 1st Labor's Day. Excellent. Uh, November 28th, my birthday. How do say complete? Birthday, my birthday. Birthday, birthday. okay. In December 30th, of the year? No, December 31st. Mm -hmm. ah, first first sí. Eve, víspera de Año Nuevo. 31st, Pero okay, mire, sí. tenía que seleccionar solo un mes y en ese ah. mes a tres festividades. Ok. No, November, igual, ¿cómo sería? Cumpleaños de mi papá, November 26. Ok, no, my father. My father's birthday. My, my father. father's my father's birthday. Okay. Very well. Okay, see you later. Okay, teacher. Okay, Bye. continue practicing.
En WhatsApp está, ya lo voy a ver, espera. Sí, en WhatsApp lo mandó teacher. Voy a poner. O no sé, no sé si fue la teacher o. Ah, no. Fue... I send it. Yo se, lo, fue. yo se los envié. Oneida. Ah, okay, okay. Como dije, es que no sé qué. Oneida. Dice. Oneida García dice. Yo no, creo que era L. Marlin, Marlin. Ajá, Marlin. Ah, este sí, muy bien. Vaya, vaya, el día, mira. Entonces va primero el día. El día, mes. El número no sería, de día. No sería el primero año. mes y de ahí día. No, es que cuando dice día, se refiere, se refiere a Sunday, Monday. Ah, perdón. Ajá, Wednesday. No, el, el orden es que estoy viendo aquí. Primer uh -huh. día, mira. Ahí Daniel me hiciste mala clase, al revés me dijiste. ¿Quién dice? Porque me dijiste que, que primero iba el mes y el día, y no. Va primero el día. Es. No. no. Mire, de acuerdo a los formularios, así es. Pero de acuerdo a lo que estamos practicando, ay, se me fue Carmen. Perdió la conexión. No, aquí está Carmen. Ok. Pero de acuerdo, ahora nos estamos eh, adaptando al formato que estamos viendo, ¿sí? A los ejemplos, ¿de acuerdo? Uh -huh. Pero si el formulario le dice month, day, and year. Pero ahora no están diciendo el año, sino que solamente el día, la fecha y el mes. Ah, es uh -huh. que el orden. Yo puse primero el mes, el día y la, y el, y la fecha. El... Ok. Como que sí es agenda. Agenda. Sí, 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 porque en de agenda así va, es el orden correcto. Ah, agenda. agenda, pero okay. ahora nosotros estamos haciendo spoken okay. everyday language, ¿verdad? Oh, okay, no problem. Teacher, teacher, entonces, entonces, teacher, entonces ahorita la, como lo estamos aprendiendo es lo popular, como se pronuncia It's realmente. Spoken, pero spoken, for, for, everyday ajá, language. For, pero ya la forma formal, es, formal es. No, la forma escrita. Ah, ok. okay. Porque sí hay un formato. Uh -huh. Así es. Okay. Okay. Very well. Thank you, teacher. Okay. My pleasure. Both are correct. La todas están correctas. Uh -huh. Bueno, ok. About to finish. Ya casi termina. Ya, estoy, ya, ya casi. casi. Estamos esperando a Brandon, pero Brandon nos ha dicho, por decirnos era nosotros cómo hacerlo, se ha atrasado un poquito. Ah, he was explaining to you. Ok. My birthday celebrates with my family. John 17th, 2022, Father's Day. 2022. Oh, sorry. Sí, es que digo el, el mes. Yeah, I was is, thinking about 22. No, it's 22, but it is the year, okay? Uh -huh. So your uh, the Father's Day is the 17th, John 17th, sí. right? Okay. Sí, sí. Excellent. Uh, July 2024, 20, uh, twenty 2022 work anniversary. <clears throat> eh, wedding anniversary, aniversario de bodas. Work, work, <laughs> ah, work anniversary. The company no, no. anniversary or your anniversary working in the company? Anniversary working in the company. Okay, okay, excellent. Because in some companies they celebrate the anniversary of the foundation of the company. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. okay excelente. Pero, 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 oiga, me tenían que haber seleccionado un mes y en ese mes los tres eventos. Ah. ¿Se recuerdan cómo lo hice yo? Solo seleccioné sí. un mes, ¿verdad? Y tres, eventos. Solo tres eventos. Y tres eventos en un mismo mes. Por en eso tenía cinco. que hacer cada quien seleccionar un mes diferente. 
Apa ahorita voy a hacer el último día? No, no, that's okay, because it's more than enough, one, almost one hour in that activity. But okay. I think, you know, the topic of, for the dates is kind of similar to the topic for the addresses and locations, that it is like for Spanish speaking people, troublesome. Es un poquito como complicado para los hablantes del español, ¿verdad? So don't be concerned about that. The idea is that you practice, okay? Thank you. And Dimas finished. And you read your sentences. Ya les leído sus oraciones. Eh, no, es que a mí me salieron cinco, entonces estaba terminando la última. <laughs> okay. Um, Lucy, Filomena, Luz. No las he dicho todavía, pero ya las tengo. Edwin. Yes. Your sentences. Did you read your sentences? Ya les leyó, les compartió las oraciones a sus compañeros. Sí, 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 sí. Ah, ok. So, uh, Verónica and Edwin are waiting for Dimas and Filomena sentences. Yes? Yes, I finish. Ok, read your sentences to the partners. And after that, in about two minutes, Filomena. Ok, bye. 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 Hello class, did you finish the practice? Yes, teacher. And uh, did you all guys read, read the sentences? Did you read the sentences? ¿Ya leyeron las oraciones? Sí. Okay, excellent. So let's wait for the other people. I'm going to monitor and then we're going to return to the main session room, okay? Thank you for your participation, guys. Finish the share. Okay, Carmen Guadalupe, Dani, and Carlos, all of you read the sentences, yes? Finish, yes. Okay, finished, excellent. So give me one minute so I monitor the other groups and then we'll return, okay, to the main session mm -hmm. room because I have six groups working with many oh. students. Thank you. December for Christmas Day. Christmas Day, Christmas capital letter. Miren, esto como son días festivos van con mayúscula. Ok, se recuerdan de eso, por favor. Porque Day. si en el, ajá. Uh -huh. Day también. Sí, porque es un día específico. Okay, but you are doing a great job. Only that problem. But with the practice, we correct it. Okay, congratulations. Ah, now you have different, three different modes. Excellent. Continue. Congratulations. October 5th. Columbus Day. October 12th. My sis, my sister birthday, October 25, 25. Yes. 25th, 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 okay, this is the answer. serían? Three, three, uh-huh. Oh, okay. Ya está, entonces. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Sería vacation or holidays? It depends because it is, if it is a holiday, holiday. But if you are telling me about your annual vacations, for example, annual. then okay. you have, for example, people ask uh, to the bus for the vacations, the personal vacations, November, December, January, right? It depends. Ah, okay. But for example, Mother's Day is not vacation, it is a holiday. Uh, September 15th, it's a holiday. Porque es un día festivo de yeah, celebración festivo. nacional. Uh -huh. No es vacación, es para celebrar la independencia. ¿Ya? Ajá, uh -huh. okay. No sé qué haría así, vacation. November 16th, to enter vacation. Okay, annual vacations. Annual, annual. Annual vacations, okay. 
Bye. Bye. Sí, esos son, o sea, como de orden, de orden, de orden. ¿Cómo vamos ahí con la, con la actividad? <risa> ¿Cuáles actividades, chicos? Aquí no, de repente estamos, nos estamos, se, se, nos estamos ubicando por los aquí. números, teacher. Teacher, 14, ¿cómo es que se pronuncia 14? For things. Ah, en ordinario. February for things. For things. February ¿Y 13? for things, St. Valentine's Day. February 14th, St. Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Ya, yeah. ya. Yeah. Mm. February. La ah, diferencia okay. de pronunciación, teacher, de 13 en ordinal y cardinal, ¿cómo sería? 13, 13, 13. And then 13. Ah, sí, sí, y el 14 en ordinal y en cardinales, cae lo mismo. 14. For things. Por eso en los ordinales tenemos que hacer un poquito de exageración con la lengua porque es interdental. La lengua oh. queda entre eh, ah. los dientes, por eso es sonido interdental. Uh, twelves, thirteen, twelves, things, fourteen, fifteen. The tongue is between the teeth. Seventeen. Seventeen. And you have things. Seventeen. Ok. Ok, teacher. Now let's get back. Ok. Thank you okay. for practicing. You have worked very, very hard today. <laughs> It's excellent. More Cabo than an hour, an hour in that, but you did a good practice. Congratulations. Let's get back. Okay, I'm going to ask some volunteers about two or three in order to read the sentences for the class so you can share with your partners, okay? Carlos Umaña. Okay. Hello, Carlos. Please okay. be my guest. Uh, November 1st, Monday, it's my big day. Uh, November 2nd, Tuesday, it's a holiday. Uh, November 27th, it's San Miguel Carnaval. Uh, November 31st, it's the last day of month. Of the month, okay. Very well done, excellent. Another uh, volunteer to share with the class? Another student to read the sentences? November. 16 to 30th annual vacation. Okay. November 26th, Father's birthday. In November 28th, my, my birthday. <laughs> okay, excellent. That's the best holiday, our birthday, right? Very well done. Claps, claps, claps for your active participation in the breakout rooms, okay? That was just a taste of what you were doing. Eso solamente fue una muestra de lo que ustedes estuvieron trabajando en los breakout rooms. Excellent. Well done. Now we're going to continue, okay? And here we go. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Do you see my screen? Yes? Yes. Okay, this is what you were working, okay? And now here, congratulations, by the way. We have introduction to the topic. We have The subject, I, he, she, it, you, we, they. We have the auxiliary verb to be, am, is, are, and the verb in ing. I am eating, I am working, I am learning, I am doing, I am going, blah, blah, blah. He, she, it, is. 
talking, eating, learning, cooking, thinking, blah, blah, okay? You, we, or they are speaking, writing, studying, playing, reading, blah, blah, blah. Esta estructura, fíjense bien, si usted solo dice, I am eating, I am eating a sandwich. Ustedes la aprendieron como el presente continuo. Ok, con ING le dicen ustedes que la acción se está realizando en el momento. If I take my phone and you ask me, teacher, what are you doing? I am checking my phone. En el momento lo estoy haciendo, pero ahora vamos a estudiar esta estructura como presente continuo con un significado de futuro. ¿Sí? ¿Por qué? Si yo digo, I am, uh, I am, I'm working tomorrow morning. Voy a trabajar mañana por la mañana. ¿De acuerdo? I am working tomorrow morning. Voy a trabajar mañana por la mañana. Es decir, estoy usando esta estructura con ING, pero no significa que estoy realizando la acción en el momento porque escribí tomorrow morning. Le estoy diciendo que mañana voy a trabajar, pero ¿qué sucede? ¿Cómo? Fíjense bien, después del verbo to be, no llevamos la partícula to para separar los verbos. Entonces, el siguiente verbo tiene que ir con ing. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? ¿Sí? ¿Hello? Yes. Ok. Yes. Pay attention to the following. Now, we're going to work in our manual at pages 29 and 30. I want you to focus on this, ok? Please, here, we're going to start unit three. You're going to be describing future events that are going to take place in your company or in your real life at home or with your friends. But the first activity I want you to do is the following. Let's start. You are going to ask and answer the following questions. How many questions do we have in here, class? We have, who schedules the events at your workplace? What are some events that are taking place the next week? Estas son las dos preguntas que se van a estar intercambiando. You ask, I answer, I answer, I ask the other partner. Who schedules the events at your workplace? ¿Quién programa o calendariza o agenda los eventos en tu lugar de trabajo, en tu compañía? What are some events that are taking place the next week? ¿Cuáles son algunos que eventos que se llevarán a cabo next week, la próxima semana? Solo esas dos preguntas se van a estar haciendo y las van a contestar de acuerdo a your reality. Okay, de acuerdo a su realidad, at your workplace, you're going to share the answers. Is that okay? Are the instructions clear? Comprendimos yes. la actividad. Yes? yes? Okay, listen, I'm going to share with you guys the questions. So, uh, hold it. Okay, but you have it in the manual because I close it in the, in the, hmm. okay, over here, and there you are. Teacher. Yes. Nos puede poner como un ejemplo de cómo responder esas preguntas. Ah, okay. Es que esto es individual porque como cada quien, ¿verdad? En su compañía. Pero veamos. Okay, here. If you ask me, for example, mm, who schedules the events at your workplace? Depending on the company. Dependiendo de la estructura de la compañía. Porque hay quienes lo, lo trabajan de forma... Um, por departamentos, sí, los eventos, o de una vez. For instance, here, who schedules the events at your workplace? 
And then you might say, mm, let me see the answer for this, for the first one. Okay. And then you may say the communications department. It could be an answer or another answer could be the human resources department, yeah? Or the marketing department or the secretary, the supervisor, the manager, no sé quién agenda o programa los eventos en su compañía, en su lugar de trabajo. Ahí depende de la realidad de cada quien de acuerdo a la naturaleza de la empresa. What are some events that are taking place the next week? ¿Cuáles son algunos eventos que se van a desarrollar o se van a llevar a cabo la otra semana? And then you may say, for example, on Monday, on Monday, we, we are attending a meeting, for example. El lunes vamos a asistir a una reunión. Fíjense, we are attending a meeting. El lunes vamos a asistir. Acá estoy usando we are attending a meeting, pero no quiere decir que en el momento vamos ya, no porque le estoy escribiendo on Monday. Entonces estamos utilizando el uh, present continuous to describe future, future events. Ok, para describir. On Monday we are attending a meeting. On Monday, I am visiting some clients. Yes? Sí? Está más claro ahora? Or not yet? Okay. Yes. yes? Okay. Depending on the nature of your company. Okay. So right now, we're going to move to the breakout room so you ask and answer the two questions. Solo esas dos preguntas, okay? Let me see, three, 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 three. Okay, here we go. Go to your groups, please. Go to your groups right now. And ask and answer the two questions. Ivania, Ivania, I'm going to send you the invitation right now, okay? Because okay, you have problems with your connectivity. Okay, go to group number three, Ivania, please. Okay. I have uh, Danny. Go to group number three, please. Daniel. Your group is number two. Do you see the invitation? Dani, equipo, equipo tres, perdón. Dani, ¿puede visualizar la, la invitación o tiene problemas con el Inter? Dani, hello, Dani. We lost you. Lo perdimos, Dani. Okay, begin asking and answering the questions. It is an oral practice. Ahorita, ahorita. Estamos preparando la respuesta. Excellent. Thank you for your answer. Continue, please. Bye. Are you ready with the with the answers for the oral practice? Mm, yes, teacher. Okay, I don't great. Know the, no sé la otra compañera. Clelia and Marlene, are you ready? Me falta todavía. Okay. Me falta. 
A couple of seconds, we're going to wait for your answers. Are you almost ready with the answers, guys? Yes? Casi listo con las respuestas? Chicos, chicas? Hello? Hola, hola, hola. Ya, tengo, ya tengo yo las mías. Ok. Uh, let's wait for Ivania and Carmen, ok? For the speaking practice. Let's do it, girls as soon as possible, so we can go over the next explanation. Schedules, schedules, a meeting. A schedule, a meeting. Mm -hmm. a schedule, 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 a meeting. Schedule. With his... Are you ready? Did you already practice? Yes? No, ya no, teacher. Okay, let's do it. We have two minutes to finish the activity. La siguiente pregunta. What are some events that are taking place? place the next week the next week vamos a ver actividades de la semana por eso algunas eventos de la semana pero solo le, le pongo eh, la persona o, o, o solo así verdad o no que bueno, por ejemplo este Serafín dijo que es el administrador verdad Serafín no el, no eh, Sería el, en este caso el de, eh, business department, departamento de negocios. Ah, ok. En uh -huh. uh, my case, quiero ver, sería, en mi caso sí, de administra administrador. Administrator. Administrator, ok. Y en el caso de Brandon, el rector. Yes. So. Uh, sí, teacher. Finished. And did you mention some events that are taking place next week? ¿Ya mencionaron los eventos que se van a desarrollar la otra semana? No, en no, eso estamos. No, no, okay, a eso let's voy. Do it. Let's do it. Vaya, entonces sería. Los eventos que se vienen, por ejemplo, para mí, no sé cómo decir en inglés, sería promotion de, de, en cada una de las instituciones. Vamos a hacer una pijamada aquí. ¿no? Promoción. Promo, promo, ¿Promoción de qué? De... Promotion. O campaña. Y... Campaña. Campaign. Ah, ¿Pero ajá, ¿qué, es lo, campaign. La, qué es lo que van a promocionar en esa campaña? campaign the, the, the credit of the 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 public institute institution institution ah, credit promotion. campaign no credits campaign in public institutions yes uh, in public van a ir a promocionar créditos a las instituciones públicas yes yes public okay. institute institute ¿qué como le credit campaigns in public okay. institutions institution institu institution siempre le pongo tilde a institution te tendría que quitar eso verdad hasta la motivation uh -huh. ahora le pregunto sí ok pues schedules to events at your work <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Who scheduled the evening at the workplace? Peor para el día. 
is the manager of multimedia um, television channel. Okay. Uh, what are some events that are taking place the next week? It's soccer, soccer tournament uh, next week. Um, soccer. Soccer, dijo. Yeah. Okay. Football. La próxima ocupado. <laughs> ya, 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 por gusto, ya no aguantamos ni 15 minutos. <laughs> no, ok, entonces le preguntamos a Filomena Luz. Hello, girls. You are done. You're finished. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. You the two questions and you answer the two questions. Yes. You name the activities or events that are taking place the next week at work. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I have to ask you to stay for about one minute while the other group is finished, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Hello, class. Did you finish asking and answering the two questions? Uh, I I finish. Uh, did you mention the events that are taking place next week at your workplace? Uh, the second question. I want it. Yes. 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 Okay. The two questions finish. Okay, you are done with the two questions. So let's get back then because some groups are already done. Many about all of you, I think everybody. Thank you for your participation in the breakout rooms. Let's wait for the other partners to get back to return. Okay, very well. And now I would like you to pay close attention to the teacher, okay? And here we go. Look at this. Now at page 30, please notice this. How to use present continuous for future events. This is what I was telling you before you went to the breakout rooms to practice the speaking activity. We use present continuous to talk about arrangements for events at a time later than now. Usamos el presente continuo para hablar acerca de algunos arreglos, okay, 
o algunas programaciones, calendarizaciones de eventos en un momento que no es el actual, un momento después, es decir, puede ser mañana, pasado mañana, la próxima semana, para eventos a futuro. ¿Cuál es esta estructura? Subject, the verb be, the main verb must be in ing or gerund and the complement. El sujeto, el verbo to be, el verbo principal debe ir con una terminación ing y el complemento. For example, I am meeting the interns tomorrow. This action will take place in the future. When? Tomorrow. Es decir, I am meeting the interns. No es que en este momento me esté reuniendo con ellos. Lo, me voy a reunir con ellos mañana. Okay? Entonces acá yo ya tengo esa programación. En mi agenda ya está esa actividad. ¿De acuerdo? pero no la estoy ejecutando en este momento que estoy hablando. Se llevará a cabo mañana. Then we have, what time is Maria interviewing the people? She's interviewing them at 5 p.m. ¿A qué hora va a entrevistar María a la gente? Ella los va a entrevistar a las 5 de la tarde, es decir, no en este momento. I am writing the report next week. Voy a escribir el reporte la próxima semana. Nice. And I am sending it as soon as you finish. Mmm, qué bien. Y lo voy a enviar, contesta la otra persona, tan pronto como lo termines. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, acá estamos usando el present continuous for future events. And now, this is your practice class. And scramble the following words to create sentences, okay? For example, is Jose tomorrow receiving the new workers? Jose is receiving the new workers tomorrow. And at the end, the full stop. Y al final, el punto, ¿de acuerdo? Now you are going to unscramble the correct word order for sentences number two, three, four, five, and six. Let's do it individually, please. And while you are organizing the correct word order for the words in these sentences, I'm going to take the second attendance, okay? Mientras ustedes están trabajando estas oraciones, yo voy a eh, tomar la segunda asistencia, ¿de acuerdo? Okay, remember that is at page 30. That is at page 30. Do it, please. And I'm going to stop sharing because I'm going to take the second attendance. Ana Marlene, Marlene. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Ana Veronica. Present. Thank you. Brandon. Brandon. Thank you. Carlos Miguel. Carlos Miguel. Present teacher. Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Carmen. Clelia. Present. Thank you, Miss Clelia. Dani, Daniel Alberto. He lost the connectivity. <laughs> okay. David Emanuel. Present. Thank you. Edwin, are you here, Edwin? Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Miss Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you. Janice Caroline. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Janice Caroline. Jonathan. Here I am. Thank you. Jose Dimas. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Dimas. Jose Manuel. Today was happening.
Jose Mario. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Juan Ezequiel. Present Juan. teacher. Thank you, Juan. Marlene Oneida. Present teacher. Thank you. Nilton. Nilton, are you back? No, he lost the connectivity. No se logró conectar por la señal. Sí, es el problema. Creo que envió un, una fotografía que tiene problemas con el Inter. Sí. Serafín. Serafín. Here I am, Miss. Okay. Here I am. Yes, always. <laughs> William Francisco. William, William. Where are you, William? I'm present. Always here. Yeah. Filomena Luz. Present. Thank you for your responsibility. Blanqui, Blanca Luz, did you come back? Blanca, no, she didn't make it up yet. Alejandra Michelle. Okay. Noe. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, class, let's see. Did you finish organizing the correct word order for the sentences? Yes? Or not yet? Not yet. Hello, hello. The constitution. Excellent. I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes. Three more minutes, okay? Finish. Finish, teacher. Excellent. So here we have in sentence number one, is Jose tomorrow receiving the new workers? Then we have Jose is receiving the new workers tomorrow. In Sentence number two, the groups of words are the next week, Mark sending the letters is. The sentence should be. Mark is sending the letters the next week. Mark is sending the letters uh, the next week. The next week. The next week according to the information that they are providing us in here, right? And let's identify Mark is the subject, is the verb to be, sending the main verb, el verbo principal in ing, the letters the next week, the complement, right? Very well, what about number three? Who wants to tell me the correct word order for sentence number three? Jen is working on the record tonight. Okay, great. Jane is working, working on the on the report on the report tonight. Excellent. Thank you so much. And then we have number four. Walter is signing Excellent. the checks today. Walter is signing uh, the checks tonight. And at the end, never forget the full stop, okay? To identify that the sentence is over, is finished. Number five, 
organizing Marina, their presentation is in the afternoon. The correct word order should be. Marina is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Is organizing the presentation uh, in the afternoon. Okay, thank you. What about the last one? Guillermo, the bank going to tomorrow is? Guillermo going to? Mm, and the verb to be? Uh, Guillermo is going to. Is going to? Is going to the bank tomorrow. Tomorrow, very well. Excellent. So you see, you can do it. It is not so difficult. The only thing is that you need to keep in mind the following, guys. Solo que deben recordar lo siguiente, chicos. Acá tenemos los verbos en ing, pero no es presente continuo. Es decir, es pre, eh, presente continuo, pero con significado de futuro, ¿verdad? Que la acción no se está realizando en el momento. Do you have any question about this structure? If you notice in all the sentences that you have built, even with the example, we follow the pattern. Seguimos el modelo. Subject, verb to be, main verb in gerund, and the complement. We have Mark is sending, Jose is receiving, Jane is working, Walter is going, is signing. Mari, Marina is organizing and Guillermo is going, okay? So we follow the pattern. And right now, class, it is your speaking practice. At page 29, we have this conversation. Listen to the teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. You have Peter and Henry. Hello, Henry, I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter, well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So uh, I see, but if uh, Julie is attending, who is delivering the representation, the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? Guess what? Adivina que? I am, I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, one more time. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is uh, attending the conference this year too. So I see, but if uh, Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am, I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Committee about it, okay? Questions or comments about the structure of this conversation? No. Okay, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms and you practice, you take turns practicing this conversation and you switch roles, okay? Only the practice, focus on the pronunciation, okay? Focus on the practice of the conversation by now. And here we go. Okay. Get ready. Go to the groups. I sent you the invitation. Join your groups if you're so nice. Please. The conversation is at page 29, okay? Dimas, we need you in group number one. Ana Marlene, we need you in group number two, if you are so nice, please. Ana Marlene, go to group number two. Marlene, we need you in group number two. Ana Marlene, we need you in group number two. Bye. 
Time flies, Marlene. At page 29, you have it. I'm going to share it with you if you want to take a screenshot, okay? Okay, there you are. Don Dimas. Hello, hello. Tiene el privilegio de ser Peter. Okay. <laughs> Great. Hello. Excellent. Okay. Hello, Henry. Uh, listen, guys, and your group is what's supposed to be. Anna Marlene, but I think she's having problems with the connectivity. So begin practicing both of you and switch roles, okay? If she comes back, she's going to join your group, okay? Clelia and Marlene. Ah, actually, she's asking for, okay? Let me see. Let's wait for Anna Marlene. She's trying to log in right now. Okay, begin both of you girls because I don't know if she's going. Okay, I think she is in here. Marlene, Clelia, and uh, Ana Marlene, okay? Begin practicing the conversation, please, because time flies. We are about to finish the class. See you. Okay. 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 Hello, Henry. Okay. Hello, Henry. I I have a question. Who is represented the company in the yearly conference? Hi, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So Julie is attending. She is delivering the presentation for the CEO Netwit. Wes, what? I'm I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sound great. So I am informing the 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 something about it. Okay. Ahora con usted, Jose Mario. Hello, Henry. I hello Mario. I have a question. Who is representing the company? at the yearly conference. Hey, Janice, well, <laughs> Mar Maria is, but July is attending the conference this year too, so. Julie. I see. Julie. Mm -hmm. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the person? Okay. Finish, teacher. Sure. Okay, did all of you read the conversation? And did you switch roles? Intercambiaron yes. roles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sí, como solos nosotros dos. No es okay. <laughs> okay, so give me 10 seconds while I go to the last group to monitor the last group, okay? Okay. Thank you. Continue practicing. Practice makes uh okay. Perfect. Okay. Continue okay, practicing. Teacher. Take advantage of the of the time and connectivity. Practice one more time. Community. 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 The community. The community. No, 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 Excellent. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. 
Well, Maria put Yuri is attending the conference this year too, so. I see, Burit, Yuri is attending who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week. With what? I am I am presently quite actual. The next accountant. Sound great. So I am informing the community about it. Excellent. No. They are not excellent. <laughs> you, you told me you don't you didn't want me to speak. No. Me dijeron que no quería que hablara. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> Comiri, ok. No digan community, porque community es como que dieran comunidad. Comunidad. Comiri. Comiri. De comiri. Ok. A Serafín no lo corrija, Tiche, pero a Brandon y a mí sí. No, también a Serafín. No, como Serafín le dijo que no dijera nada a la Tiche. No, por eso ya. A ver cómo se escuchaba después que no dijera que era donde habíamos fallado. Me entendí, me, me sí, no, no, era broma. Sorry. No problem, no problem. <risa> no problem. Thank you, teacher. No, no, you, you know what? If you have noticed, David Emanuel, Serafín is getting confidence. Ahora Serafín ya tiene más confianza cuando habla, ¿sí? ¿Te recuerdan el modo? Sí, yeah. He was very ah, sure, sí. but now he is getting confidence, and that is good. Okay, let's get back to the <risa> Congratulations, you did a pretty, a pretty good job. Sí, you only need to remind, solo necesitan recordar. Comiri, okay, comiri. Comiri, comiri, thank you, teacher. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. Thank you. Okay, class, here we go. Hello, Henry. I have a Hello, question. Henry. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? Guess what? Not guess. Guess. Como la marca de los pantalones, los lentes. Guess. Guess what? Adivina qué? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee, committee about it. La fuerza de voz va en la segunda sílaba, committee, committee about it, okay, acerca de hecho. Okay. Listen, guys, it's unfortunately time to say have a good night, but I need uh, William. William, where are you? William Francisco, I need you to stay with me, please. Hello, William. Hola. Okay, I need you to stay with me after class, okay? Necesito que se quede conmigo un ratito después de la clase. Okay. William, hello. Sí, okay. lo escucho. <laughs> en, en Carlos, the big laugh, la gran sonrisa, the same as David, Emanuel, and the other ones that have uh, stayed with me as Jose Mario, okay? Thank you so much, class, for joining. Remember, continue working in the platform. You. you had an excellent performance today. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Thank You're you. Super champions. Have a good night Thank and you. see you tomorrow, okay? Good Bye. night. Bye. Bye. See you Bye. tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye. Well, only William. William, don't go away. William, stay Hello. with me. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, Juan. Hola. Okay. Here we go. Okay, William. We're going to practice um, reading. Okay. 
con la estructura de ahora, William, ¿le presenta algún problema o la captamos? Sí, más o menos. Lo de la, lo de la fecha, lo de los meses, ya me los en inglés. Ah, excelente. Great. Uh -huh. Y ahora con el nuevo tema del present continuous para futuro. Sí, no hay problema. Lo comprendí. Uh -huh. Me dijo que cuando eran, uh -huh. cuando eran acciones de, que eran para mañana, para gente de eran las de presente continuo. Sí, así y es. La... Porque fíjese que hay mucha gente. Sí, el presente simple es para acciones del momento. No, para acciones rutinarias. El presente rutinarias, continuo. Perdón. El presente continuo es para acciones en el momento. Si yo le pregunto, William, what are you doing? Y si le digo, ¿qué está haciendo? Usted me dice, I'm talking to you. Estoy hablando con usted porque estamos realizando la acción, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. En este momento si sí es presente continuo o presente progresivo, ¿de acuerdo? Pero cuando lo utilizamos, esa estructura con el verbo principal ING, en referencia a un futuro, es porque esa acción, ese evento ya está planificado, ya está agendado, ¿de acuerdo? Uh -huh. Entonces, eso es un future arrangement. Entonces, William, vamos a practicar la conversation, ¿ok? Here. I'm going to share it with you. Do you see my screen? Visualiza sí. la pantalla. Okay. Sí. Here we go. Para que se le facilite un poquito más. Okay, sí. here. Okay. I'm going to read it once and later we're going to switch roles. Yo la leo una vez alone and later we switch roles. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but uh, Julie is attending the conference this year too. So um, I see. But if uh, Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. I am informing the committee about it. Now you read Peter and I read Henry. Maria, hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, hey Peter. Peter. Well, Mary, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too soon. I see, but is Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week. Guess what? I am, I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I'm informing the committee about it. So I am informing the committee about it. Very well, congrats. Excellent, good performance. Now here, let's practice this other conversation. Okay, read it for me, please, if you're so nice. Odell, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On a Monday, November 20, 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday the 26th. Excellent, great, very well. Uh, I have two questions for you. Do you mark your events in your calendar, William? Mm. Here, do you mark your events in your calendar? Yes, I do or no, I don't. No, I don't. Do you attend your events? No, I don't. No asiste a los eventos que lo invitan. Ah, no. Uh -huh. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, Maria. Okay. No, okay, here, do you attend your events? Yes, I do. Very well. And here, we practiced this yesterday, if you remember. And now, let's practice here. Please read this conversation for the teacher. And is there some meeting you need to do tomorrow? No, some meeting, no. Something, 
And so, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Begin again. But, yes. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some client and you, well, I have to re reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide, to provide pardon, important information to some customers that sound in interesting. Interesting. Okay, repeat after me. Something. Something. Some clients. Some clients. Reschedule. Reschedule. Cancel today. Cancel today. That's too bad. That's too bad. I have to provide, I have to provide. I have to provide. Some customers. Some co co customers. Interesting. 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 Very well. And here I need you to read for me this uh, email. From the beginning, from Daniel Ruiz at travers.com, blah, blah, blah. Okay, read it, please. From Daniel Ruiz, arroba, arroba, no, 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 no. Remember, we say at, como si fuera la preposición at. at. Daniel Ruiz at travels.com. Okay, say it again. From Daniel Ruiz at travels.com. Subject very important, importance. Thank that's for this mom, dear Guadalupe. These are some of the dash for this mom. I really need you to contact the first three potential customer in the list from Mr. Sanchez. Three days to do it. Three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for you. You have two days to do it one or each day. It's very important to some to send the two largest sales report on my 26 and write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it for all. Finally visit the two store in Santa Tecla. You have to days to do it two hours each day organize your week thank you best rigor daniel ruiz okay great the only thing here was i ah, remember always at arroba ah. la leemos at igual que la preposición de in o at verdad igual at. At. and dot com dot com gmail.com Okay, great. And one more thing here. I'm going to point and you say, okay? You say the numbers in English, the ones that I'm going to point. How do you read this? First. Second. Third. Okay, third. 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 Interdental sound. The tip of the tongue third. goes between the teeth. La punta de la lengua va entre los dedos. Los dedos, uy, third. los dientes. Third. Uh -huh. third. 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 Uh -huh. third. And fourth. 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 Interdental sound. Fourth. Como, third. Como third. Fuerza. Uh -huh. Fourth. Fourth. Uh -huh. Excellent. Fourth. The fourth of July. The Independence Day of the USA. The fourth of July or July the fourth. Okay. So here, one more time, I need you to read about Mr. Wilson, okay? Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in the in an office. I am human resource manager. <clears throat> Every day I check email for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, generally I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon in my company. We always 
have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And uh, we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Busy, very well. Busy. Okay, repeat after me. I'm a human resources manager. I'm a human resource manager. Usualmente la gente dice I'm, pero cuando escuchamos los native, um, they say I'm. I'm um, a human resources manager. Okay, and one more thing, answer. Answer. Forget about W when you say it. Olvídese de la W cuando lo pronuncia. Answer. Porque it is voiceless, no suena. Answer. answer, answer. Okay, tell me the answer. Answer the phone, okay? Answer, and that's it. Hey, congratulations, and you were practicing over here also the ordinal numbers, okay? So. Uh, thank you very much for being very responsible in your attendance, okay? And also you are very responsible in the platform with your works and your evaluation. So I have to tell you that I am proud of you as my student, okay? Continue working like that. Felicitaciones por su desempeño en la clase, por su responsabilidad, tanto en la clase, con la asistencia, con las actividades, la participación y el trabajo en la plataforma, okay? Have a good night and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Sleep well. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye, William.